combat sports nowadays looks nothing like it did in the early days, where fighters with a dramatic difference in size compete against each other. In this video, we will show you 10 battles where giants were beaten by fighters half their size, demonstrating that size doesn't always matter. Step back, protect yourself at all times. Let's shake hands now and come out boxing. The IBA Light Heavyweight Championship was on the line in May 2004 when Vonda Ward, the undefeated reigning champion, faced Ann Wolf. After two minutes of cautious boxing, underdog Ann Wolf landed a counter right hook to the jaw, sending the former basketball player straight back onto the canvas. Could he fight her? Oh! Eric Butterbean faced Mike Bernardo, a tough South African, in September 2003. Though Butterbean hits with a couple of huge right punches in this fight, he has a hard time dealing with Bernardo's low kicks. It seems he doesn't really know how to check the low kick properly, and all those kicks he lands just drain Bean's energy, as well as limit his mobility. The big man was floored twice with low kicks in the first round, before being finished with a high kick in the second, awarding the South African DKO victory. Back in Japan, in September 2004, Akibono faced a Dutch striker who was known for his flying knees and spectacular kicking attacks. Akibono started the fight pressing with punches and pushes, ignoring his opponent's signature high kicks. Remy, however, had had enough in the third round and scored a high right kick that put the former sumo wrestler out. A fighter who weighs more than 33 pounds more than his opponent. 19-year-old Kirill Sadenkov challenged the much older and more experienced Polish wrestler in an MMA fight. Martin outweighs his younger opponent by 35 pounds and in many ways resembles James Thompson. In the first round, Martin seems to favor Thompson's attacking style, running straight toward his opponent from the opening bell. The Russian, however, fought for his life and gave his opponent almost no chance. After a few minutes, the match was over and the young man left as a hero. Are you surprised it hasn't gone to the ground yet? Not at all. Oh, big right hand punch and that's and it. That it. Stopping the fight. Oh, that knockout. Indeed, Marco Brusa. Jumping on immediately, stopping that. Fight. Looking at us now, Saltacek smiling. That right hand right on the chin dropped him. In March 2007, the seven foot two South Korean giant took on Mighty Mo in an open weight fight in Yokohama, Japan. For many fans, this was the Korean giant's worst performance. He started slowly in the first round and was knocked out for the first time in his career in the second round. Mighty Mo unleashed a stunning overhand right that passed through history as one of the best K1 KOs ever. In May, Mike Tyson in the center of the ring. Fred Yusey with the instructions. In December 1985, Mike Tyson defeated Sammy Scaff in the opening round when he was just 19 years old. In just 17 seconds into the fight. Tyson was able to connect with a left hook that backed his opponent to the ropes and caused him to begin bleeding from a broken nose. Sammy, however, retreated, circling the ring, only to be caught by a quick left hook that sent him crashing to the canvas. I 
Sanders. Tyson does not throw wild punches. And that's Big so left hook. One. Up. And there is Two. half down. down. Three. Seven. This Eight. one's over. Nine. This one is over. It's all over. He tried to make it. Sammy Scaff tried to get up. His nose oh is cut. Look at the side oh of his nose my. there. In June 2007, at the K1 World Grand Prix in Amsterdam, Bob Sepp faced a Dutch kickboxer who was known for devastating high kicks. In a pretty dull affair, Peter struck Sepp with the left knee. Sepp fell down, and the fight was over in just 25 seconds of the first round. Okay, round two, Emmanuel Yarborough. One of the most bizarre MMA fights took place in Japan under the Pride banner back in 1998, where a 600 pound American sumo wrestler fought a 169 pound fighter. The fight was featured on the Pride 3 card in Japan, and in a somewhat comical fashion, where the crowd was stunned by Emmanuel's tremendous size advantage over his opponent. It was the smaller fighter who endured a 17-minute battle, which the Japanese stopped his opponents via strikes in the second round. In October 2009, the South Korean giant proceeded to the Dream 11 semifinals, where he faced Manoa, a Japanese fighter who was used to dealing with major size differences. Manoa pushed to creative takedown and guard pulls to bring the fight to the canvas, but Choi used his size and strength to shut down his game plan. In the second round, however, Manoa pulled Choi down and immediately locked a heel hook, forcing him to submit. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any new videos.